Hey guys, Jen Russo Davis here with successwithjendavis.com and today I'm going to do a, another Facebook training and um, I'm going to do my MLSP back office tour at another time. So that's uh, that's a cool video for later. But today I'm going to focus again on our friends list. On my last video, I had talked about how to delete friends from your list or clean it up a little bit to make room for others that might be coming in. Today I'm going to do friend requests that you receive. And this is how I go through and decide what friends I'm going to, friendships I'm going to accept and which I'm not. And this is not meant to be sort of a snobby thing in any way. When I first started online, I used to basically accept any and all friend requests. And now I've learned that I'm going to get a little bit more picky because I want to save room for those who send me friend requests that are either people that I, that I know um, or people that are in the home-based business industry that are looking to share information, to share inspirations, or maybe people that I could help with my products or services. So they might be looking for help from me. So I want to really leave my friends list open for people who connect with me on a personal level. So here's what I do when I look at my friend requests, and I'll open these up. See, one thing I look for is somebody who has mutual friends with me. So I can see that this person right here, Sean, he has mutual friends with me. He has quite a few, actually. So in this case, I will accept the friendship request. And, you know, I always go to that person's page and say thank you for the connection. Looks like this person doesn't allow posting on his page. So uh, what I'll do later is perhaps go and scroll through and see if I can comment on one of his posts. But then you have another, or here's an example of someone who doesn't have a lot of mutual friends with me. So this person sent a request. And what I'll do is I'll go and look on here and see, um, what I like to look for is, do they have a personal picture? I've, if they have a blank photo there, they don't have any, or they have maybe um, a, some sort of a, a picture, a logo of their company, or a quote, or some sort of other like stock image, I usually will not accept the request. I like to know who the person is. I like to try to connect with people personally. That is the point of my list or the point of my friends list. I want to have, you know, relationships with people, not with people that I, I don't even know if they actually are people. I might think it's some sort of a fake page if you do that. Um, and then I look to see if there's engagement on their page. So I'll scroll down. If this person only has, you know, one mutual friend with me here, I might go down and just check out does this person post pictures or, or statements or questions? Do they have people who respond to them? Is there engagement on their page? And in this case, I don't really see, I see that he's posted some pictures. Um, and other than that though, I don't really see many people interacting with him or him making any, um, any comments or saying things, so I don't really know him personally. Of course, this is in a language I don't understand, so I'd have to translate that. So looks like pictures of, maybe throwback pictures of him. It doesn't show me that he might be in the home-based business industry, so I'm not quite sure that I might have anything in common with this person to build a relationship with. In this case, I would prefer that this person send me a message along with the friend request just to say, hello, I came across your page because of whatever reason. Look for some other reason to connect with me. So in that case, I would not connect with this person. Now let's look at another one. This person here has five mutual friends with me. And I can see right away he works at Isogenics, which I know pretty well. So it's someone else who's also, I'm in Purium, so this is also someone who's in the health and wellness business, so that right away is a connection between us. I can see this person has many friends here, um, so I'm expecting that he's going to have some engagement. So he posts pictures, he has people who respond. So this looks like someone that I'm going to connect with and, whoops, confirm. And again, it looks like this person doesn't have, doesn't have comments um, that you can post, but I will definitely like, his, like his, um, his picture here. I love that. Everything you've ever wanted, step outside of your comfort zone. Awesome statement. So true. So give that some thought. And what I might do is scroll through and then maybe look for something, one of his threads to comment on to really build that relationship because I'm not looking to pitch people. I'm not looking to sell people. What I'm looking to do is build relationships. And that is all. If we end up doing some sort of business together, that's an added bonus. But really, it's about building that relationship and getting to know people. So that's what I expect when I go through my friend request. Now, 
let me just say a disclaimer if with your friend request absolutely do what you feel comfortable with do what's best for you this is what I'm saying is not gospel by any means this is just the method that I use because I really want to be mindful about the friend request that I accept now I do things differently than I used to and I want to do things with purpose and thought so this is actually how I choose my friends now on Facebook so that is the video for today, and I hope you all have a wonderful, productive, and fabulous Monday. If you're in New England, enjoy the gorgeous weather. It's about 65 out here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you to the heavens or to God or whatever we believe in. Say, give praise to something because finally we get some sun and some beautiful weather. So I will see you all in the next video. And if you're not on my newsletter yet, subscribe to successwithjendavis.com and where you get my best marketing tips, tricks, and other fun stuff from me. See you guys in the next video.